Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So this video is all about the Les Nahan Syndrome. Les Nahan Syndrome is one of the most commonly asked disorder in all kinds of exams. So let's understand what is Les Nahan Syndrome. Now, the, in order to understand Les Nahan syndrome, we really need to have an understanding about the purine salvase pathway. I have a video on purine salvase pathway. The link for that video is there in the description below. Now, let me quickly review that purine salvase pathway for you so that you will have a better understanding here. For more details, you can always look at that video down there. Now, so the salvage, purine salvage pathway, it involves salvaging of purine bases that is adenine, hypoxanthine, guanine into their nucleotide forms. So this needs a uh, purine uh, phosphorabacyl transferase enzyme. So there are two purine phosphorabacyl transferase enzymes. One is uh, adin, uh, APRT enzyme that is uh, adenine phosphoribosyl transferase enzyme. So which will basically take uh, ribose and uh, phosphate from PRPP that is phosphorabacyl pyrophosphate and uh, release PPI and make adenosine monophosphate. In the same way, like hypoxanthine is converted into inosine monophosphate, guanine is converted into guanosine monophosphate. So the cells are trying to reutilize free bases coming from cell turnover or uh, maybe coming from the food. So how the hypoxanthine and guanine are converted into IMP and GMP and that will be done by an enzyme called HGPRT enzyme. That is hypoxanthin guanine phosphorabacyl transferase, which is taking uh, phosphorus and uh, phos uh, ribose and phosphate from PRPP again and releasing uh, PPI there. Now, so the guanine is converted to guanosine monophosphate by the same enzyme HGPRT hypoxanthin guanine phosphoribosyl transferase. You got to remember that name there. And uh, PRPP, PRPP gets into the reaction and uh, PPI going out of the reaction and you made a nucleotide there, okay. So these are the purine, uh, some of the, one of the purine salvage enzyme, APRT and HGPRT. Now, what if there is a mutation in a gene that is coding for HGPRT? What if this uh, enzyme is completely absent? So the complete absence of HGPRT enzyme in the cells, it will give rise to Les Nahan syndrome. Now the Les, uh, Les Nahan syndrome is because of complete absence of HGPRT enzyme, hypoxanthin guanine phosphorabacyl transferase enzyme. So uh, there is a partial deficiency. Partial deficiency of HGPRT will give rise to Kelly C. Miller syndrome, which is a relatively milder disorder. But what we will talk about now is uh, we will talk about more on uh, Les Nahan syndrome. Now, Les Nahan syndrome is uh, complete absence of HGPRT. Let's see what happens because of that. When the HGPRT is not functioning there, so what I will do is I am going to take this out. HGPRT is not there. So what will happen? So there will be rise in PRPP. So there will be increase in PRPP here. And also there is rise in hypoxanthin. And uh, there is rise in guanine. So, because these molecules are not used. So, before I move on, note that HGPRT, uh, it is the gene for that is located on the X chromosome and uh, Les Nahan syndrome is, uh, it follows X-linked recessive inheritance pattern. That's one of the important thing that we need to remember and that means X-linked recessive inheritance pattern means uh, Males are the ones who are uh, manifesting the signs and symptoms and the females usually they act as carriers. Now let's see the what all the signs and symptoms seen in this particular disease and why these signs are seen to a certain extent. I can explain you on that. Now what happens if there is a complete absence of HGPRT? So there is elevation of PRPP, there is elevation of apoxanthin here. So let's first see what is the consequence of elevated PRPP. So the elevated PRPP, it is going to stimulate or it is a positive modulator for uh, a highly regulated enzyme in uh, purine nucleotide biosynthesis that is glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase which is also referred as PRPP glutamyl amidotransferase. So this enzyme activity is increased because there is elevation of PRPP. So in the Lis Nehan syndrome what happens, there is complete absence of HGPRT there is elevation of PRPP and this elevated PRPP is going to keep your glutamine phosphorabacyl amidotransferase uh, one of the highly regulated enzyme in pure de novo pathway of purine synthesis active. 
because of this what happens there is a increase uh, de novo pathway de novo pathway is increased and thereby so you know de novo pathway it involves uh, so many reactions around 11 to 13 reactions are there and uh, ATPs are lot of ATPs are needed so it means cell is busy in uh, making uh, de, uh, purines from de novo pathway rather than uh, in, uh, being converting uh, being using salvage pathway to save energy and time so it means cell is time, uh, spending more time more energy and that specifically affects neuronal cells so because there is high levels of de novo pathway here so the neuronal metabolism is altered here and that can give rise to a bizarre sign uh, that is seen in Les Nyan syndrome and that is the self mutilation. So patient will have self mutilating uh, behavior. So it means patient will try to harm their own body part like it can be fingers, it can be hand, it can be uh, lips. So self mutilation is one of the bizarre signs seen in uh, Les Nyan syndrome. And uh, patients with uh, Lisnayan syndrome, they will have decreased IQ going into mental retardation. They will have chorea, they will have anthetosis, they will have ataxia. These, uh, this kind of um, uh, uh, movement disorders can be seen. And also because there is elevation of hyposanthine, elevation of guanine here. So these hyposanthines and guanines, they will go into uric acid formation, degradation process. So uric acid. So uric acid levels will be elevated in Les Nehan syndrome. So excess levels of uric acid, hyperuricemia is seen in Les Nehan syndrome and uh, this uh, uric acid can precipitate and make urate stones or urate crystals. So uric acid crystals can be seen in the urine and that is uh, referred as orange sand in the urine. So orange sand is one of the finding that you see in the urine because that is because of the urate crystals or uric acid crystals. So orange sand and also this uh, stone formation in the kidney can happen, uric acid stones in the kidney giving rise to nephrolithiasis, it can be seen in the bladder, so urinary, mm, and the uric stones in the bladder, so urinary lithiasis can be seen, so this kind of lithiasis, lithiasis can be seen here where there is a stone formation is going on. So these are some of the signs that are seen in Lesnian syndrome, so we have seen self mutilating behavior, patient have a low IQ. Patient has got the orange sand in the urine, which are uric acid crystals. There can be nephrolithiasis, your obstructive uropathy, that is obstruction in the urinary tract can be seen because again, because of the stones there. And a patient will have, uh, will have movement disorders like chorea, athetosis, and ataxia, signs and symptoms can be seen in Les Nehan syndrome. And that is all because of the complete absence of uh, purine salvage enzyme, that is HGPRT enzyme. Now the partial deficiency of HGPRT will be uh, causing a disease called a uh, Kelly Siegmiller syndrome. So in Kelly Siegmiller syndrome, so generally uh, these neurological signs are not commonly seen, whereas uh, urate crystals and uric acid lithiasis can be seen there. So one of the way to decrease uric acid is uh, using allopurinol. Allopurinol it's an inhibitor of uh, xanthine oxidase enzyme, which is involved in uric acid formation. Thereby, try to decrease uric acid stones there, not necessarily decreasing the self mutilation and other neurological signs. Allopurinol does do not help there. So, this is all about uh, Les Nehan syndrome, and I hope this video has helped you in understanding this most important uh, disorder. Uh, remember uh, this is some of the important signs and some of the laboratory uh, changes that we are going to see in uh, Les Nehan syndrome patients. Thanks for watching and if you like the video give thumbs up and also uh, for regular updates you can consider subscribing to this channel. See you in my next video.